Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Kitty of Salt, this with, a, with a, another tutorial video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to compile the Source SDK. The Source Engine SDK 2013. Without further ado, let's um, get started with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what you're going to need. You are going to need... Uh, Visual Studio um, Community 2013 with Update 5. Now, I'll show you an easier way of loading an ISO. See, I can I can either load it in Daemon Tools, or I can basically copy its contents to my computer. Now, I use um, 7-Zip. And so what you're going to do is you're going to copy the content over to here. And you can, and this is the easy way of actually of actually just loading the installer without having to mount an ISO. Because, you know what? I don't really like um, having to mount ISOs. Now, I'm going to load Visual Studio. So we can actually load the install. I've already got it and I already have it installed on here. So I'm going to just delete or wait a while. The next thing you're going to want to have to have downloaded is the the next thing you will want to have downloaded is the is the MF, is the multibytes MFC library. So we we'll just run the installer. Yeah, the one for for Visual Studio 2013, that is. And since I already have that installed on here, we're going to go on to the next one. Yeah, it's going to take a while. The next program you'll want to have, the next thing you want to have is Notepad Plus, run the installer. So, it's like this. I already have pretty much all this stuff. And we can run it, but I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to delete. If I can, I guess I can't. So the next thing I'm going to do is just open this folder up. But right now, I'm just going to copy the files to my desktop. Because, like I, like I would probably do so for right now. You can copy them anywhere you want. So what I'm already done here, and you select your whatever which one you want. I'm going to do a do a single player. So I'm going to go into my single player, into my source code for it. Go to I'm Peter Norton. Why aren't you using my utilities? So you just go into utilities and um and copy S A P I um fifty one in here. I mean this has been fixed, so you don't have to do a whole bunch of stuff to get it to work. So you have to do a little bit of stuff that get it to work it's already been done for you so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load this and then I'm going to load that
go in here and we'll have two solutions i'll just load the game solution Go to properties, configuration, configuration manager, go to release, and so we're gonna we're gonna rebuild solution. If it hasn't been rebuilt. Or build solution. Hmm. Access denied. Hmm. So it, I might be my firewall or something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disable my firewall right now. Permanently for right now. It'll put my computer at risk. But, you know, wanting to have, wanting to have this go without a right hitch. It's, You know what? It's it's giving me some issues, so I'll be right back. Here we here we are. might be this, might be this, so I'm gonna set these to trust. trusted so if you're running a firewall a third-party firewall it will Yeah, running a third party firewall. Yeah, you know what? And we're already like whatever. I was running some different folders anyway. I was running from different folders. You, 
always check the date with with your with your date when your noise here but it should work it should work hopefully it works let's load it again try it again shall we who do you work for Yay! So I had already loaded this before, and the batch files that that it lo that this loads, my firewall was basically isolating. So I had to go in, tell it don't isolate these files. I said finally compiled. Did it finally compile the files? No failure. Hey, I finally compiled the, the files for Half Life 2. So let's so let's see if it actually compiled compiled the files that we're going to So you go here. I go to mod HL2, and it actually compiled it. I finally got the compile. Good. But you can also go here, and you can see that it's compiled. Good. So, so the next thing we're, that we're going to do is we're going to go here. I'm going to just copy Half-Life 2 because... Half-Life 2 is going to be what I'll, I'll use. We're just, we're going to load it up. We're going to, I'm going to copy my, uh, copy the file here. Call it. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to do that. I want to call it. I mean, this is freaking Windows 11. Dange Ted. We'll call it Dange Ted. Go here. We'll call my first Soft Life 2 mod Danger Ted. We'll call it Danger Ted. So it'll be, um, so it will be called Danger Ted. I'm going to pause. So the, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to copy it over to, um, I'm going to delete all that. Yeah, that's taking a little bit of hard drive space. 
So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to where I have my Steam directory installed, which is a very appropriate directory called My Games Valve Software Steam, because you know what? I want my games not to crash. So I'm going going to copy my file over here called Danger Ted, and I'm going to restart Steam. And so now we load it up and I'm going to go to um, where I have my mod, where my mod, come on, where, where my mod is, there we go, and I'm going to load it. And it'll just load. And yeah, you can load it here. So what, what about, um, what about Half-Life 2? Can we load Half-Life 2? Of course we can't load Half-Life 2 files. That's 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 fantastic. But you can but you can see it loads, so you know that is about all. Peace out.